Hello my YouTube friends. I am here just to share a little bit of life with you. I have experienced my first COVID shot in one of these arms and I am getting ready for my second shot coming around. And you know, it didn't hurt at all. The first, you know, I'm okay with shots. My husband, he's not so okay with shots. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I wanted to let you know that, you know, I went into it that day that we had to go get our first shot. I already had a raging migraine, like the worst I've had in a while. I had my hat on, I had my Bose earphones covering up my ears to block out all sensory sounds. I had my sunglasses on and a visor and I walked in. Yeah, <laughs> did my shot, did my thing. So I can't tell you if the migraine that I started with on that day and it lasted for eight days would have lasted eight days if I didn't have the shot, but I'm thinking that the shot may have contributed to an additional four or five days of migraine pain in my skull. And on day seven through 11, I had terrible, terrible, cramping pain in my thighs, the back of my thighs, like from my butt to my knees, just on fire, intense, ripping, gripping, stripping, painful pain. And I can't attribute it to anything physical that I did. It wasn't the same as my fibromyalgia pains, which I get in other places and they don't feel like that. So, so far, those are my two experiences that I have had from the first COVID shot I've taken with the visor vaccine. But hey, it is a hundred, a hundred percent better than getting the real deal, if you know what I mean. So I'll take that. I am a little leery and a little cautious about April 21st because that is when I get shot number two and I will do my part and I will do the best that I can and I hope and I pray that it's not more severe than what I did experience with the first shot but if it is I'll be asking you all for prayer okay but let me tell you a little bit else about my life. I and my husband went on a fun little date yesterday. Spontaneous me, <laughs> yeah, not normally. Normally, well, I used to be. Well, did I ever? Hmm, I like a five-year plan. That's kind of my style. I'm, the, in, the, I'm in the, the groove of, yeah, if I know what's happening in five years, then I can relax and go with the flow. But you know, that never happened. My husband laughed when I told him what, told him that while we were dating, <laughs> like it isn't gonna happen. Anyway, I said yes when he said, let's go downtown and let's go get something to eat at a new restaurant we've never been to, you know, go in and do all the COVID protocol. And it was a glorious first 70 degree day weather here in the Pacific Northwest. Sun was shining. I enjoyed it. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. wonderful lunch best I have had it was Italian food best I have had since I have moved to 
to the Portland, Vancouver, Washington area eight years ago. And I have to admit, I have never walked that part of old downtown before. Yeah, shameful me. But you know, when you have chronic illness, you just don't feel like doing things when someone else has that spurt of energy to go be spontaneous. It doesn't always flow with what you're dealing with. But it all worked. It convened, the stars aligned, however you want to say it. We went out and enjoyed a beautiful dish. I had a ravioli dish oh, to die for. It was so good. And I had a penny pasta dish with a vodka white sauce you know and i'm not supposed to do dairy not but i will sacrifice everything but my soul you know what i mean for some good pasta with a nice little bit of cream to it so i did i enjoyed it and then i sacrificed myself to the bed later in the afternoon because i had started the morning with the, the with the aware awareness is that the, with the awareness that a migraine was coming and so as the, the lunch progressed, I could feel it coming in and my brain and the words weren't working right. And we just rolled with it. My husband's like, well, how much time do you got? Five minutes, 10, 15? What's your limit before you're like, blah, 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 and you're walking like a drunk lady. <laughs> so I'm like, I got 10 minutes. Let's go in those shops. I want to, I want to look at stuff. There was two really cute vintage shops and one was like the 1940s, 1960s to 70s vibe. And the other one across was much, well, it was like the 20s, 30s, 40s vibe. And it was so wonderful. I love going backwards in time and seeing, I, I guess I'm just one of those old souls. I love old books. I love old photographs. I love old stories. I love history that's a tangible history. I want people. I want stuff. <laughs> I want to touch it, see it, smell it, feel it, hear it, know it. And then I'll learn it. So it was fun to look at stuff. There was a family photo of, I don't know whose family, but it was black and white. It was old. And I looked at them all and I thought, what a shame. I mean, a good thing. It's beautiful. It's a piece of history, but a shame that in 30 years, 40 years, that could very easily be my family on the floor of a vintage shop because we all just kind of poof. We all are a vapor that just passes in the wind and we hope and we pray that our legacy and our the knowledge of who we were and what we gave to other people, what um, emotion, what what connection we had with those we leave behind us will be passed on. The stories I tell my children about my grandparents and my great grandparents, they have, but what they do with that information, you know, it slips over time. And I kept looking at that picture thinking I should buy it. I should put it on my wall to remind me that we all are just, as the song says, dust in the wind but we have a purpose while we are here to love, love, and love. Very big. And I didn't buy it. My husband's like, why would you want to put a family photo up? You know, there was like 10, 16 people in this family photo, the matriarchs, the patriarchs, all of the, the children underneath them and the great grandchildren in their best clothes, you know, for an old, old, probably a 70 to a hundred year old photograph. Why would you want to put that on your wall when it's not related to you? And my first response was because they are a part of history, but I didn't buy it. <laughs> I didn't buy it because, you know, you only have so much wall space. You only have so much stuff that you can bring in, but I made sure to pause and to look at that photo and to think. What was that person like? What were they like? What did they pass on? What history do they share? Anyway, that's me getting all sentimental. Had a great time. We were able to do two vintage shops, look around, talk, and explore and enjoy the sunshine. And then I said to husband, I need to get home. I need to get home like 10 minutes ago 
and I took my migraine pills and I stayed in bed for the rest of the day. But I woke up even this morning going, oh, I had such a fun day yesterday. Even when 60% of my day was me in bed, not feeling well with the migraine and sleeping and waking up, sleeping, waking up, sleeping, wake until this morning rolled around and we had coffee again and I looked at him and I said, that was such a fun day. And I encourage you to find something fun in your day because you may only have four hours before you're sick again, the fibromyalgia flares up, the chronic pain hits you, but absorb the now that you are in that can be beautiful, that can be um, it can be so rich and fulfilling and that's how I want to look at life. I want to look at it as being rich and fulfilling and knowing that I have you guys to share that with me fulfills my soul of happiness. I look forward to sharing another day with you next time. Till we talk again. Bye bye. Hello Bella. Did you know? That you are my favoriteest puppy in the whole puppy kingdom? Really, you are. You got my back, huh? It must, and you don't burp on camera. You've done that many times before. It's rude. Yeah, daddy's laughing at you, girl. And, and no, don't scratch your butt either on camera. That's rude. That's burp rude. And look at the lady part. It's not filmable. <laughs> Alrighty. What's on your thoughts today, Belle? You burped in my face, then you turn around and licked your booty. And now, you want some affection from me? Hmm. Well, you are my favorite puppy. Can you give me paw? Give me paw? Give me, give me some cookie. Give me a paw. I'll give you a cookie. Give me that paw. Give me a high five. All right. You're my girl. I'll keep ya. I'll keep ya. <laughs> I'll keep ya.